Hey guys, so welcome back to the party. I, let's see if I can get comfortable here. Okay, so I was out all day. And remember, don't know where to look in the camera because I'm trying a new camera setup, so bear with me. I was out all day. I believe that I'm going to add this haul just as an end to a vlog that I was doing today, kind of travel with me type of situation. Okay, we're gonna have to cut that out. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been out all day. Thank you for rolling with me all day. I ran some errands. I ended up going to a couple of thrift stores. You know, it's funny. I follow a YouTuber named Chanel uh, Boateng. Uh, Chanel, sis, if I pronounce your last name wrong, please forgive me, but I am a big fan. Um, I love the way you do your vlogs. So when I left out today, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna channel my inner Chanel Boateng and I'm gonna do a vlog like her. I don't know how successful I was. I guess we'll find out when I edit this video. Even though I told y'all I wasn't gonna be editing videos. Okay, so here's what I found. Let me just jump right into it. Where do I wanna start? A friend of mine over at Restored Glory, big up, shout out Restored Glory, told me about a place not too far from her that she goes to from the time from time to time. So I met a really nice dude there named John. John, his name was John. And so here is one of the things that I got from John. He has a really nice antique store, has a lot of old furniture. Like I went in there and I was in heaven, but the way my wallet is set up. So the first thing I wanna show is this. The light doesn't really do it justice, but it is a vintage 1950s brooch by Jerry's Brooches. When I did a quick search online, apparently Jerry's Brooches was a company that started in the 1950s. They ceased operations in 1996, I believe. And so I put this brooch somewhere between 1950 and 1996, <laughs> okay? But the back is a pin and then right here is where it says jerry's gold tone i think that's the best i can get it to focus pink rhinestones pearl accents and so it's my hope to list this and sell it for somewhere between 20 and 25 dollars This is a really short haul. I only got four things. So the next thing that I got is this brass pill box or snuff box. I'm not sure if it's a pill box or a snuff box, but it is brass. I would say I don't have a, a ruler here. Actually, I do. One moment while I uh, see how wide this thing is or what the diameter is it's probably about two and a quarter two and a half inches diameter this is a mother of pearl inlay that features painted images of men on horseback and i can't really see if they are at war it's about four men on horseback but oh and then there's engraving along the perimeter here's the back of it and then when you open it there is a mirror now i'm going to tilt this mirror to the side because my living room is a mess okay <laughs> y'all not going to be talking about me on facebook so you guys drop down in the comments and tell me whether or not this is a pill box or a snuff box because when i'm searching what comes up is antique Persian snuff box with mother of pearl inlay. I'm hoping to sell this at somewhere between 50 and 
and I paid $10 for it. Oh, and by the way, for the brooch, I paid $5. Next thing is this beautiful green glass cruet. It is a Mary Anderson cruet, also mid-century modern, um, or actually older than that, I believe. I believe that uh, Mary Cruet glass is, uh, uh, not Mary Cruet, Mary Gregory. I said that wrong. It's Mary Gregory glass. So it features an enamel paint of a young boy at play. The bottom is really smooth and then there is an indentation here. I can't remember what you call this. It features gold painting detail along the rim along with a stopper. To match it is absolutely gorgeous it's my hope to sell this for about thirty dollars and i paid ten dollars for it so the final piece that i have i'm gonna ask you guys to drop down in the comments and tell me what type of glass this is so quick story to go with it i walk into this thrift store and there's a little old lady that is the proprietor of the thrift store. Now, she used to be all the way on the other side of town. So imagine my surprise when I'm driving down the street and I see that she has moved locations. I go inside and she shows me, well, and I see this. It is a beautiful ombre tone, cobalt blue, emerald green vase. No chips, no cracks, beautiful ombre color, wave swirl detailing. Here is the bottom of it, absolutely smooth. As a matter of fact, it's so smooth that when I put it on my counter and went like this, it began to spin because the bottom is so smooth and so flat. So let me let you take a good look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I walk in, I see the vase. I'm like, oh my God, that's beautiful. How much is it? She says, oh, I don't know. I don't know how much it is. How much do you want to give me, give me for it? She's really in her old lady energy, right? I said, well, let me look it up. Yes, dear, you look it up for me and you tell me how much you will give it to me for. Now, if you are of African descent, please tell me if in your particular uh, ethnic group in Africa, if this is a um, haggling trick. Because quick side story, I mentioned that her location used to be elsewhere. The very first time I saw her, it was when I went to the location where she was before. And this whole exchange is the same exchange she had with me about a tea set. But at any rate, so she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how much it is. You tell me how much you want it to be. I Google it. And the first thing I'm seeing is, um, uh, what was it? Mikasa, oh gosh, I can't look it off on my phone because I'm filming on my phone. Um, Mikasa Green Ombre Germany Art Glass Vase, $150. Then I see Murano Glass Green, Gumble, uh, green Ombre uh, Cobalt Blue Encased Glass, like this is the description, $475. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this a Murano vase? Is it regular Mikasa? Like, you guys tell me. What is it? And then I'm thinking, if she doesn't want to give me a price and she's leaving it up to me, you know what my price is going to be. 
call me a jerk, but I said, well, I'll give you $20 for it. Cause again, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. It could be worthless. I don't know. Right. And she's really in her old lady energy, which is basically guilting me into wanting to give her $400 for this vase, but absolutely not. So she says, you know, I have it here just for you. You know, another man came in and he wanted to buy it for a thousand dollars. Ma'am. Okay. I know you you're in your old lady energy, which is making me feel like your granddaughter, but what you're not going to do is convince me to pay you a thousand dollars for this vase. So she says, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but you give me $25 for it. Okay. You know, but first I, I figured if you want to haggle, let's haggle. Cause maybe this is part of the culture, right? So I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't give you $25 for it. I, I, I must give you 20. I must give you 20. No, 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 I can't accept $20 for it. It has to be $25. This has to do, th this is my food. <laughs> so we're going back and forth and I'm just enjoying <laughs> it, haggling with her. And so finally I was like, well, I have to go and get some cash. You know, you think about it. Think about whether or not you want to accept my $20 offer and I'll be back in a couple of hours. Meanwhile, I knew good and hell well I was going to give her $25. Like, I'm not that much of a jerk, right? But this is absolutely beautiful. So you guys drop down in the comments and let me know what type of glass you think this is. Did I pay too much? I paid $25. And what do you think I could sell it for? So with that, I'm going to go. What's next up is me attempting to edit videos. So if you're new here, thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for watching my channel. Please be sure to like this video so that the, the magical algorithm will push it out. Please be sure to comment, you know, again, what do you think of, of the purchases that I made? Do you think I'll be able to get the prices that I'd like to get for them? Do you think I paid too much? Do you think that, you know, this woman and the haggling was a part of her culture? I believe she's from Nigeria. Oh, wait, I forgot the best part of the story. So remember when I walked in, she was like, she can't remember how much she paid for it. She, um, how much do I want to give her for it? But she can't take nothing other than 25. And apparently somebody wants to buy it for a thousand but she wants to sell it to me. Never mind, she ain't seen me in two years, but she just told me I was holding this for you. Okay, okay, Granny. So I leave to go get some cash and then I end up going to some other places. So I come back right before she's closing with her $25 and then she says to me, you know, I was not going to sell it to anybody else. As a matter of fact, I was about to send it to Nigeria. You see the uh, the box, that's how, why I think she's from Nigeria. You see the box over there, I was packing it, but then I thought, no, I'm going to take it out and I just want to look at it. <sighs> ma'am, ma'am, I don't believe a word that's coming out of your mouth, granny. I don't believe a word that is coming out of your mouth. I think you are willing to tell me anything that you have to tell me to get this money out of my hand, but I'm not mad at it because she's so amusing to me. She reminds me of my grandmother. She looks like my grandmother, right? But she was definitely in her Nigerian, I'm going to haggle bag. So my, to my Nigerian subscribers, please tell me if what I am describing is par for the course. But with that, I'm going to finish this video and attempt to put together some semblance of a vlog that ends with um, that ends with a thrift haul. So thank you guys, and I will see you again in my next video.